The funniest game for gay kids, it's right now on Mike's Home ESL. Hi guys, this is Mike from Mike's Home ESL. If you're new in here, you gotta know that Mike's Home ESL is a teaching tips channel. So if you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. If you are just like me, teaching in China, or if you are a homeschool mom, there's a really cool store on WeChat. It's called Teacher's House Shop. Teacher's House Shop main mission is to help teachers, schools, and parents, the most important educators of all, to find the resources and services they need to grow as educators and live more comfortably in China. So if you are in China, you are a teacher, you need some books, you need some games, you need whatever you need to have a comfortable teaching life in China, just go on Teacher's House Shop, really awesome. You get a link in the description down below, let you know how to get it. Here we go, a very simple game for your class, especially for kids between the age of four to six, seven years old, that would be good. For young learners learning phonics, here is a very simple game for kids to play, especially if you have only flashcards and yourself. Here we go, how to play with a lot of fun, it's right now, let's go find the kids and play. Do you wanna play games? Okay, cool. So we're gonna practice the alphabet, okay? We're gonna practice, we are going to practice the phonics, okay? Okay! So I'm gonna put the cards on the floor and then we'll see how to play, okay? Here we go. What is this like that? Yeah, what is the sound of it? A says. Okay, so we're gonna put A here, okay? A. Who wants to play? Yeah, Jenny, let's go. Stand in the middle, please. Okay, so I will say a letter, okay? For example, I will say A. So you run to the card A, you run, run, run to the card A, and you say A. Ah. You say the sound of A, okay? Okay. If I say B, you run to B and say B. Okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so here we go. F. B E Good job C Okay D Okay, now we're gonna go faster, okay? So you gotta run a little bit, okay? Oh, Alright, let's go A C, B, A, E, E, D, B, A, B, A. Okay, good job. All right, give me five, good girl. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see who wants to try. Okay, the only boy that we got in here, Eric. Let's go, my boy. Are you ready? Good. E. E. B. C. D. A. F. E. 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 A. F. E. Okay, so now we're gonna change a little bit. I am going to say the sound. Okay? okay. I will say and then you will say F. Okay? Okay. Interchange a little bit. Suzanne, let's go. 
Are you ready, Suzanne? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Good, all right, good girl, give me five. Okay, who wants to try? Someone else again? Yes, okay, uh, Cece is your turn. All right, Cece, <laughs> are you ready? Oh, uh, you say, yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let's go. B. Mm. Ah, yes, good job, okay. <laughs> so now, we're gonna make a little competition. We're gonna play with two students together, okay? Okay! Alright, we can play, you can choose to play with two teams. So you can play with uh, team one and team two. Uh, so here we go. Let's see, Jenny and the other team. So we're gonna have Jenny and Cece, team one, and Eric and Suzanne, team two, okay? So team one, who's gonna go? Jenny first, and team two, who wants to go? Okay, Eric, let's go. Stand in the middle, are you ready? So I will say the sound, I will make the sound of a letter, okay? Okay! And you run to the letter and say its name, okay? okay. So just say its name, okay? For example, if I say F, you run and say F, okay? okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Huh? All right. D. Sorry. D. A. A. Okay. B. A. D. Oh, be careful. <laughs> Okay, and you can give points to the one who is faster. Obviously, they've been doing very well, so that's why I do not often uh, play with teams, but you can if you have a lot of uh, kids in your class. Good job, guys. Give me five. Yeah. Oh, my God. Sit down, please. <laughs> okay, sit down. Let's see Sissy and Suzanne. Let's go. So there was a very basic game that you can use in your class, especially to make the kids practicing their pronunciation and memorization and as well make them more self-confident especially when you have a class of four kids that's awesome so you can play for kindergarten is very useful for them it's quite very easy but you know uh, primary school students they, when they start to learn English using this way to play can be a lot of fun so everybody let's say goodbye Bye. Yeah.